Hours after the truce expired and the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza said that at least 60 Palestinians have already been killed in Israeli airstrikes this Friday. Fighting resuming after Israel's military claimed it had intercepted a rocket fired from the Strip. Since then, Gaza has been bombarded repeatedly. Despite the fighting, mediators say talks aimed at renewing the truce between Israel and Hamas are ongoing. For more, we can speak to Jean-Paul Palomeros, a former Air Force Chief of Staff and former Supreme Commander of NATO Allied Forces. Thank you uh, for speaking to us. Um, the first question I want to ask you is, weeks ago, we saw Israel drop leaflets on northern Gaza, now leaflets falling again in southern Gaza. What is the Israeli strategy for its offensive? Well, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, Israel was, will run a more uh, specific targeted campaign in the south. First, uh, because they have pushed uh, the Gaza, Gazan population uh, to the south, and secondly, because they have achieved already a part of their aim in uh, reducing the military power of uh, Hamas. So uh, I think we should see, hopefully, a more targeted uh, and a less uh, devastating campaign uh, from Israel in the south than in the north. That would, that would uh, be consistent with what the U.S. wants Israel to do. I'm also wondering, some critics would say that Israel's reluctance until now to make it look, uh, to, to, to limit civilian casualties would almost appear like a deliberate strategy to exert more pressure on Hamas. Do you think Israel may have been deliberately targeting civilians? No, no, no. Uh, Hamas is, uh, is embedded in, in the population, and this is the, the real difficulty that uh, Israel is facing. Hamas is playing, uh, is uh, sheltering behind uh, the population. So uh, um, Hamas has uh, started this, this war, and Hamas now is trying to manipulate in a certain way the, the international public and uh, uh, audience uh, to, uh, to to discredit in a certain way Israel, but on the other hand, Israel must absolutely reduce uh, Hamas military power, and so uh, I think really we will see a different campaign this time. If the different campaign is more surgical, consistent with what the U.S. Secretary of State is calling for, what would that look like in practice, and how realistic is it? Perhaps more uh, limited uh, bombing with uh, very specific uh, targets, uh, as we see in uh, Anunis, for instance, which looks to be uh, as a center, uh, thousand center of gravity for Hamas. Uh, perhaps a different type of operation. You could see a kind of special ops operation, this kind of things. I don't see the Israeli really uh, coming into the south and, and staying that uh, as they are doing in the north. That, that, would, that would be really difficult for them, and uh, that would cause um, a lot of uh, problems with the population. So uh, let's see, but uh, targeting uh, more uh, specific and pushing, uh, pushing against the Hamas and putting the pressure, uh, the military pressure on the Hamas uh, until they, they, they stopped what they, what they have done. So Jean-Paul, thank you for your time. Jean-Paul Palomero's former NATO commander. Thank you.